this is a defeat. I mean, I think there should be accountability. And if you, and this could be a kind of opening for a kind of bipartisan conversation, because if you are a kind of um, American militarist, I mean, you have to look at the leadership that got you to a place where you were defeated by men wearing sandals, firing AK-47s, right? Yeah, there should be a humility with that. Like yeah. the, the, it, I mean, yeah. we should actually say that. We like literally the Oh, we um, lost. You say you say lost. we lost. It wasn't just, you know, um it's, it's the, the the American military yeah. lost. Yeah. And I and I and I feel I have very mixed feelings and you know, it's I don't know a ton of veterans, but you know, I've mentioned I've taught my share and um have a student now and you know, they are they're suffering because they look at the sacrifices that they made that I didn't make. I mean, American society didn't make the sacrifices. I mean, men and women lost limbs, they lost eyes, they lost lives, you know. Uh, there's been this, of course, quiet epidemic of suicide among among veterans. And I, I've heard some stories the fact that the State Department is seeing a similar surge of suicides because they see their adult life's work collapse. They've seen their relationships. I mean, they've seen they received phone calls in the middle of the night from people who they entrusted with their lives, who they know are going to be targeted. I mean, some have already been killed. Um, they've seen the, I, I mean, I think just, I'd imagine just ideologically and professionally what they believed in and what they, what they sacrificed for, you know, has vanished. Yeah. And I think that's a, that's, that's bad. I mean, historically thinking of some of the presence you were thinking of, I mean, if you think of, you know, first of all, you know, at a human level, I feel horrible for those people who, you know, may not have agreed with everything they had done and their choices in life. But I respect the fact that many good people went out of, you know, the best intentions as young people to 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 do the right thing and make things right. And I respect that. And I've met enough to know that there were people who saw the gray and complexity, and that that's you know all you can hope for. Um, but we don't want a generation of disillusioned veterans. Um, you know, if we look at the other post-war moments, and this is kind of a post-war moment where, you know, I think we need a conversation with American veterans about about what they've gone through and what they're feeling, and they have they, they still have skin in the game, you know, because their personal connections and their and, and of their histories. And they're and also suffering. going to be future leaders. I mean, uh, yeah, veterans already. Yeah, people yeah. who have served are often great men and women. That's that's true, and. Yeah. You know, throughout history, whether you sacrifice, you served in fighting World War II, in fighting Vietnam, that's going to mold you in different ways. That, those, yeah. That's going to mold how you are as a leader that leads this country forward. And uh, so you have to have an honest conversation about um, what was um, the role of the war in Afghanistan, the war in the Middle East, the war yeah. on terror in the history of America. If we just look at the full yeah. context, at the end of this 21st century, how we're going to remember this and how that's going yeah. to result in our future interactions with small and large countries, with China or some yeah. proxy war with China, yeah. with Russia or some proxy war with uh, Russia. What's the role of oil and natural resources and opium and all those kinds of yeah. things? What's the role of military power yeah. uh, in the world? And now with COVID, you know, it it's like um, it's almost like the because of the many failures of the U.S. government uh, and many leaders uh, in in science and politics to respond effectively and quickly to uh, to COVID, we kind of forget that the, we fumbled this other thing too. Yeah, and it's it's hard to know which is going to be more expensive. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. they they seem to be symptoms of something of a, of a, a same kind of source problem um, of leadership of bureaucracy of of uh, the way information and intelligence flows throughout the U.S. government yeah. all those kinds of things yeah. and that hopefully motivates young leaders to fix things. Right. 